what happened, where we made some mistakes, and why we're taking this big turn. There are two kinds of immigration in Canada. The one you probably think of most is permanent immigration, like when families come to Canada to settle and call it home. Every year, the government determines the right number of permanent residents that we want to admit. That's how it's been done for decades. But a plan that only talks about permanent immigration misses the other pathway, temporary immigration. Temporary residents are people who come to Canada for a limited time, like international students, temporary workers, and so on. They come to work a job or go to school. When the job is done or when they finish their degree, most return home. Some apply to stay as permanent residents, but most return home. So back to this year's plan. Historically, Canada's annual immigration plan just looked at permanent residents. The number of temporary students and workers that we admitted each year was left to the demands of the economy. It was usually a small proportion of our population, so it's never been a part of the long-term immigration plan. But after the pandemic, our economy came roaring back quickly, and we needed a lot of workers fast. Canada is in the middle of a huge labor shortage. Temporary foreign workers became such a significant part of our workforce that it would be a mistake not to include them when we plan our immigration levels. So this year, we did exactly that for the first time. We laid out a plan that sets targets for both permanent and temporary residents. This way, we're getting the full breakdown of people coming into our country so we can prepare the homes and infrastructure needed to support them. Like I said, immigration is based on demand. When we set our targets, we look at every province and territory. We ask the premiers, what are the gaps in your workforce? Is your population growing or getting older? We field calls from businesses, CEOs, economic experts, all sharing their thoughts on where we should set our targets. We've had a chronic shortage of labor for the, for the last decade. It is the number one issue of all manufacturers across Canada. So we think there needs to be more, you know, push your, the pedal to the floor to bring more people into Canada. Because Ontario was facing a generational labor shortage. 380,000 jobs are going unfilled. It's no surprise that every sector has different wants and needs when it comes to immigration. But after the pandemic, they all came to us with the same message. After two years with closed borders, we need more people, more workers, fast. So we brought in more workers, fast. So we brought in more workers, and it was the right choice. It worked. Our economy grew. Restaurants.